light is lighting. Yes. First and foremost, let's go back. Welcome. Now that you've been welcome, go view my other videos. Let's let's do that. Your boy is about to go get a tattoo at the uh, big ass age of 33. No longer a spring chicken. So the uh, pain tolerance has plummeted, ladies and gentlemen. Bitch, you better be Joe Biden. <laughs> this shit has me weak. <laughs> Whatever, just please wash your hands. Be respectful in the comments. Because I would hate to give that same energy back. As a matter of fact, no, I'm going to double that energy if you come crazy. Okay? I know you like what you see. So follow me on the two. Twitter and IG. Like, comment, subscribe. Give that bell a ring. Hope you decide to say. Show some love to my page. Stick around if you wish. Cause my life is lit. What's up, everybody? Welcome back for another episode of My Life is Lit. Let's try this again. What's up, everybody? Welcome back for another episode of My Life is Lit. Uh, I don't care if you haven't seen any of my videos thus far. Do your boy a solid. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do that now. Like, right now. If you haven't seen any of my videos yet, start with my travel vlogs. You guys really seem to be rocking with those, so keep going with the views and the likes. But anyway... Gonna go ahead, jump right to the case here because I'm actually running late, per usual. Your boy is about to go get a tattoo and it's gonna be a rather long session. So your boy is high key nervous. The longest session I've ever had for a tattoo was about three to four hours. It was on my ribs, but that was back in my heyday when I was a spring chicken. Now at the uh, big ass age of 33, no longer a spring chicken. So the uh, pain tolerance has plummeted, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll be the first to admit. And with that being said, you know, after probably 30 plus tattoos at this point, um, you would think I'm a pro at this. I'm not. Um, I'm still high key nervous. I've been anxious. I've been tossing and turning in and out of sleep all night thinking about the pain this tattoo was about to cause. But then I remembered. One of y'all told me to stop being a Billy Badass and to go ahead and get the numbing cream. So your boy finally cracked down, went ahead and ordered it off of Amazon. It looks like this, by the way. Can you guys see this? This is what it is, for those that want to know. It's called Numb 520. It has 5% lidocaine, and it's basically just a topical cream that you rub on. Um, I saw people in the comments were saying that... Uh, I guess there was some instructions out there somewhere saying that you should apply this 15 to 30 minutes before you get a tattoo. And they were all like, do not believe that shit. It does not work. So based on the Amazon reviews, everyone said to put this joint on about two hours before your tattoo. Right now it's currently 1126. My tattoo appointment is at 12. So I actually put it on technically at 1115. I just started recording a few minutes ago. So I put it on at 11.15 because the way I figure, my appointment is at 12, but we haven't had, damn, my light messed up. Sorry, you guys. But we haven't had a consultation yet. So my consultation will start around 12. I'm going to show him my reference photo for what it is that I want. And it'll probably take him a little minute to draw it up. So I feel like it'll probably be closer to about 1.30 before we start. Hence why I put it on around 11.15. So hopefully it'll be activated by the time we get started. The longest session I've ever done, I was like 19 or 20 and it was like three or four hours. Today's session is supposed to be seven or eight. I know I'm a crackhead, but it's okay. Um, and so I got this trusty handy dandy numbing cream. I hope it pulled through for your boy because if not, I will be in shambles. And there's no doubt about it. Oh yeah, and so in addition to putting this on about two hours in advance, I was instructed to also wrap it in saran wrap once I apply it. So as of now, my leg is licking like this. Pardon Apollo, he wants to be in all of my business today. So I put it all on this area and even like on the inner side of the thigh, even though we're not hopefully going that far. I mainly put it kind of like in that area just in case what I want starts wrapping around. But it looks like this so far. I'm gonna keep it wrapped up 
until we start. And I went ahead and shaved my thighs so it could really, you know, apply directly to the skin. Cause I, I don't have time for the hair to be blocking my blessing. You feel me? I actually went ahead and shaved both legs cause I don't know, I like balance. I don't like one leg looking like Chewbacca, the other being infant baby butt smooth. I don't, I don't like that. So we're just gonna knock all the hair off and let it grow back all together. But anyway, like I said, I'm running late. So I'm about to uh, get Apollo situated, start heading to the shop and, oh shit, I should probably eat. I haven't ate all day. So let's do that first. I'm gonna get Apollo situated and stop for food on the way to the shop. So yeah, that sounds like the plan. Oh, and I should probably grab some water too. Today I'm about to be a long day. Maybe I need snacks. I didn't really think about this too, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, stick around for front row seats if you want to see me in pain. Hopefully not, but yeah, you know the vibes. He said vlog all that. Oh, that's all I was going to do. I love it. That's why I was sitting here. Now that you just showed me uh, the drawing and shit, I'm like, do I want to put more of this shit on right now? Or no? Because this is what it is. This is non-520. Once you break the skin, you can apply more to it. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, we shall see. <laughs> I'm sitting here tapping this shit right now. I can't tell if I feel it or not. <laughs> Pinch it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> It's shit shit, obviously. <laughs> you know what? I'm about to actually use the bathroom before I even sit down. <laughs> this shit has me weak. <laughs> Whatever, just please wash your hands. <laughs> Let me guess, you you did that? <laughs> Cool, and what you about it. to put on some anime? Nah, I know you don't watch that shit. Probably something stupid. Yeah. Last time you put on, uh, fuck, what was it? Twenty One Jump Street. That shit had me <laughs> weak. I had seen it before, but it had been a minute. That shit had me weak. Probably the only nigga that come in with a whole bag full of shit. <laughs> Gone. Well, that's the thing I didn't bring. I almost did bring snacks. But the way my anxiety set up, I won't go eat shit. <laughs> Thank you very much. What I got in there? The numbing cream. Oh, my Sanoderm. <laughs> you know the vibes. <laughs> Yo. What I got in there? This tone. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, so I'll wait till at this point what's going on here and what's not. Mm -hmm. That bad part about to be a bitch. <laughs> yeah, actually, by that knee too. So you see how they took that shading? Mm -hmm. You want me to blend that together? Uh, 
uh, whatever you feel is best, honestly. Yeah, you probably just a little bit. It's kind of like, they want like separate pieces. Yeah. Like they got some. I think the same. Did they do the same over there? Yeah. 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 Little, some little whiskey type stuff coming through. Almost 115, so I timed this out perfectly. Let's see how well this normal cream actually worked. I'm scared of shit though. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, yo! This motherfucker. Hello, my name is Jeffy, and I like to eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to hell for this. My life's about to be in change. Alright, I don't. You ready to make? No. Good. Did you start? Yeah. Okay, so if you legit started, I don't really feel anything. It's like I feel it, but it's real faint. I don't know if I should believe the hype of this numbing cream or if you fuck it with me right now. <laughs> but either way, I'm good. If it stay like this, we lit. <laughs> Yeah, definitely down. <laughs> All right, y'all. We've been at it for about an hour. I just showed you guys where we stopped at. We making like great timing, high key. So he was like, you know what? Since we're doing so good on timing, he was like, I'm going to do all your line work and reapply the numbing cream because the numbing cream is numbing, not going to hold you. I think so far, the only areas I really felt are the areas by the knee. Now, that was killer, not going to lie. Definitely wish I put numbing cream there um, initially. Um, but yeah, so far, I think pain-wise, I think the average pain as of now, I would say is like a three or a four. But that's just because, again, that's kind of like incorporating the pain that I felt that I didn't put the numbing cream on in those areas. But the places I did put the numbing cream, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. He actually said himself, he said even, he recommends it even for tattoo artists because he was like, he's dealt with people putting numbing cream on before where it, I think he said, I'll confirm with him later, but he said it thins out the skin a bit too much. Um, and so it makes it harder to tattoo, he said, but he's not having that issue with this whatsoever. So he said, between he and I, we recommend this if you guys know your pain tolerance is not that high. Or in my case, you know you're sitting through a long session and you want to be able to make it through the session with like build or no breaks. Yeah, this is, this is the one. Um... He knocked all that out in an hour, so I definitely doubt that it's going to take the full seven. He said it himself. So we'll take a break for probably like an hour or so since we're making great timing. And then I'll bring you guys back whenever we get started. So then they go.
Starbucks coffee. Okay, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Out of here. One down, one to go. Thank God. Huh? Well, behind my ear. Literally should take five minutes. Y'all really be cutting up in here. That shit funny. <laughs> Yo, I just realized what the fuck her thing is. Bruh, this shit let y'all know. Type of time they on in the shop. <laughs> Bitch, you better be joking. <laughs> oh my god. What was that word they said on that commercial earlier? And we was like, they're doing a lot. Succulent. <laughs> we was like, they are doing a lot. <laughs> Talking about a Chick fil A chicken sandwich. Nah, succulent is a wild word. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us at the same time stopped and said, what did they say? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I'm getting one 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 tatted at four four four. That's crazy. Miscalculated how much time we get together this morning. You know, the work from the office. Oh yeah, very true. Good thing you can grab your favorite. No, you're fine. No, she jumped out right when I hit record. <laughs> What's up you guys Just left the tattoo shop I'm actually on the way back to the crib right now Um I got there around 12 I'm leaving around 5 And so yeah we'll get into Uh the review of the numbing cream And all that stuff when I get to the crib But for right now I'm actually about to stop by Starbucks on the way home Because I deserve me a nice little treat after what I just went through. But anyway, uh, stay tuned and I'll be right back. The light is lighting. Yes. Okay, anyway, I'm back, you guys. Back from my appointment. It's currently 6.45. I made a couple stops along the way, hence why it took me so long to get back home. So anyway, let's jump right into this review. So as I explained to you guys before I got back home, I was going to, Apollo, what are you doing? Stop. As I explained to you guys, um, I'm going to more so speak on the numbing cream experience, whether it worked or not, and if so, how long, all that good stuff. To touch on what I shared with you guys at the start of today's vlog, based on the reviews that I read for this product, on Amazon, it said to put it on two hours before the session, wrap it in saran wrap, and basically just remove it after the two hours, and basically it should be absorbed into your skin well enough to remain numb for pretty much the duration of your tattoo, depending on how long it is. Let me stress that. Reason why I say that is because that became very apparent for today's session. I think I uh, 
put it on at 11.15. I left the crib around 11.45 or something like that. I pulled up to the shop at like 12.15, showed him my design. Well, I have reference photos for the design that I want him to kind of piece together from the references that I gave him. Uh, took him no time to draw it up. We started the tattoo at 1.15. The first few lines he did, I was like, oh snap, I really can't feel shit, right? But it was like, soon as I stopped recording my initial reaction, Bruh started going into unexplored territory, meaning territory I did not have my numbing cream. Those areas were a ditch, not gonna lie. I was just like, oh my gosh, like, here we go, my, uh, here we go. my nightmares have come true, right? But right when I felt like it was getting to the point that it was like, oh my gosh, this is, just as bad as I remember, boom, it kicked in. I was like, oh shit, wait a minute. I'm like, okay, so like literally, and when I say I didn't feel a thing, I literally was looking at the needle and he's just, you know, doing his thing, tattooing, and I felt nothing. I didn't even at points feel the pressure of the needle. He jumps back and forth between the uh, outline and the shading. Uh, I guess to kind of like speed up the process a bit because I know a lot of artists tend to do the line work first and then come back and do the shading. Well, he went back and forth between the two as he was working on the face. And basically, he started getting hungry um, ab about an hour into the tattoo and he was like, you know what? Why don't we just knock out all your line work from here? That way the base will be set and I'm going to reapply the numbing cream and that way, all your skin, now that the outline is complete, I'm going to reapply the numbing cream. And that way, all your skin, now that the outline is complete, the um, numbing cream should be uh, absorbing faster into my skin now that it's open and exposed, right? And so he put, you know, a thick layer too of the numbing cream all over that area of my thigh where the tattoo was. And so... He wrapped it back up for me, he left, and we started back on the tattoo within an hour of him returning, right? So he starts back tattooing, and at first I really didn't feel anything, but I would say about 15 to 20 minutes into that second session, the pain started creeping in and it never let up. So yeah, it was pretty painful, not gonna lie. In my head, I'm like, oh, like I gotta be showing it on my face by now that like I'm in excruciating pain. But he stopped and looked at me at one point. He was like, yo, he was like, still numb? I was like, absolutely the fuck not. Like, absolutely not. He was like, oh, damn. I wouldn't have known like sitting here tattooing you because like you seem to be good. I'm like, no, I have been dying inside, like dying. So he's like, oh, damn. He was like, that's weird. I wonder why it didn't you know, kick in by now, especially when it's known that it literally on the instructions too, it says to um to reapply up to six times. Apollo, please. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm like, yeah, obviously it didn't take. It is what it is at this point, right? And it was like only certain parts were really excruciating, but I guess as time went on, I kind of just dealt with it. You know, and if enough of you guys have gotten tattoos, I feel like you do hit that point of honestly, fuck it. Like I'm here now, you know, this is what I signed up for. I knew for the most part what I was getting myself into. I'm just a crackhead and I keep abusing myself in this way, but it's so addicting because it's like something that hurts, but feels good at the same time, especially once you see the final product. And that was the case. All the pain I went through, totally worth it. I'm gonna say this by far is my favorite tattoo. As far as the details and everything he was able to capture in so little time, because even though I left the shop at five, he basically only worked on it for about two, two and a half hours. And then he took about another 30 minute break before we started my tattoo back here. Now let's talk about her. You guys, so obviously I have a tattoo in the same spot on this side, but remember I told y'all I am not a spring chicken these days, right? At my big age of 33, shit, life in general is hitting different in all the components of life, right? So I got this in my early 20s. Me and my older sister got these as matching tattoos and I felt like it was so slight. Out of all my tattoos at that point in time, I was like, 
This is probably the easiest tattoo I ever set through. My guy positions this. I was like, yeah, you could just throw it up here. It's going to take all the two seconds. So I'm not even going to waste our time to even put numbing cream up there and wait, you know, for the absorb and, you know, all that before you actually start this next session. The first line brush started where I was like, oh my gosh. Like he started at the one, uh, uh, at the bottom of my ear or whatever. And I'm just like, holy shit. This, like, I messed up. Like, why did I have so much confidence just because I felt like I ate that um thigh tattoo just then? Like, absolutely not. Right when he started, the pain shot all up, like, up into my head and down into my collarbone. And I felt like it was shooting damn near into, like, my uh Adam's apple. No point in it. Um, but yeah, it was just like, holy shit. Like, why is this happening right now? And then as he moved up, it got better. The middle, the one in the middle, I don't think I felt that at all. But the one up top, I said, oh, that's a little doozy. Especially because I guess it's right on the bone here. And so I really felt pain radiating into my head. Because I remember thinking, how the hell do people do head tattoos? Like, are y'all okay? And speaking of other areas that now that i got gotten uh, this thigh piece done, it reminded me of why I would never get anything on my knees. Granted, my tattoos come, some of them do touch the knee a little bit, but my gosh, it's like, holy shit. The pain, it was already about an eight instantly jump from an eight to a 10. Like it's a painful burning sensation that I just cannot quite describe. And I never want to experience that again, to be truthfully honest. To kind of close out my tattoo session overall, um, the numbing cream, I do feel like it did work. And I honestly, looking back, feel like it would have worked even better had we not taken that hour break. I feel like had bruh just toughed it out and you know postponed his hunger and took the break after the hour and then we came back and did not doubt this tattoo i would have been good but i feel like because we took an extra hour hour and a half to start back i think it wore completely off by then i told you guys at the start of this video i booked the seven hour session i booked the seven hour session because a i didn't know how big the piece needed to be to fill the area I wanted it to fill. And I also didn't know how detailed he was going to go. And so I got a, a happy medium, I guess you can say, because the piece ended up not being as big as what I pictured, which was completely fine by me. And I was not prepared for all the detail that he put into it because the reference picture that I gave him, the headdress, like the headband of it, uh, was very janky, I'm not going to lie, because it was a very rough sketch. And I'll post a reference photo up here somewhere if I haven't already done so before we get to this portion of the vlog. But the sketch that I pulled as a reference, the headband was very janky. But I actually didn't like the headdress for that reference photo whatsoever. I mostly like the female aspect of it, like the face and the hair. I sent him two reference photos of two different head, um, headdresses. And he took the one, including the uh, the very detailed beading around the headband. So when I saw that, I was very like surprised. I was like, oh shit, I had no idea that you were gonna eat like this. Like, that's crazy. But the fact that he squeezed that much detail in two hours, I tell people all the time, this guy has magic hands. Like, it be just floating, you know? So. At least for those of you that may be interested in booking my guy, I'll put all his stuff in the bio below, by the way, in the um, description box down below. But uh, just know he may not even take up the full time for your tattoo session, depending on like the size, detail and all that stuff and how well you can do a uh, deal with pain as well. What else can I share with you guys? Um, oh, yeah. One other thing that I want to promote. These people should really start paying me because I've used them for quite a few tattoos. And even when I don't, you know, uh, vlog it or post it on social media of any sort, I tell people every time they compliment the quality of my tattoos and stuff and ask about my aftercare, I've been putting everyone onto this. This here Sanoderm, 
heaven sent, bro. I have this on my thigh, and obviously you guys see it for the behind my ear tattoo. This uh, basically drastically speeds up the healing process. Reason being is because essentially this is more so used as like a skin graft for um, like, I would say more so like a uh, minor type of surgeries or whatever. And so what it does is, again, it just simply speeds up the healing process and the bandage itself gives you everything that you need to take care of your tattoo. Typically they may or may not wrap the tattoo after you get it. And it's just up to you to keep it clean and keep it moisturized, right? Back in the day, I used to use Aquifer was my go-to. But once I saw so many reviews on TikTok talk about this, of course, you know, TikTok tell you everything, right? What would we do without TikTok these days? So I used this for one of my tattoos. Actually, I used it for the one back here. Um, I actually have a TikTok video of me using this for the first time and it didn't go according to plan. The one thing I will say about using Sanoderm, be very careful when removing it because it literally sticks, I would say like glue, but it sticks beyond that. Like it's there to stay once it hits your skin until you physically remove it. It's waterproof and all that stuff. So I'll take showers with this and everything. I think the only thing I obviously wouldn't recommend you guys do is get into like a pool or like a body of water or some sort and submerge your tattoos. That's just crazy. At the end of the day, you guys should know better than that. This is actually the roll, but it comes in sheets. I bought a roll because one, I get enough tattoos that I'm like, I might as well stop buying sheets and just cut the roll according to the size of the tattoo I get per session. But I think on Amazon, you can get the roll for like, I think like 25 bucks. Um, again, the numbing cream, I looked it back up. The numbing cream was about 16 when I purchased it. For the Sanoderm, you put it on, you keep the first piece on your tattoo for 24 hours, you remove it, clean it, don't put any ointment on. I repeat, do not put ointment on. You put ointment on, it's gonna mess up the adhesive. It's not gonna be able to stick like it should. So don't put anything on it, just pat dry the um, area where your tattoo is and after that, You'll apply another sheet of this and you'll keep it on for, it says, I believe three to five days max. Hold on, let me verify. Yeah, it says a second piece can be worn for three to five days max. So that means within a week, your tattoo should be completely healed. The only thing you have to do uh, once you remove the second piece is keep it moisturized. And for me, I typically use the uh, like any non-scented lotion is good, but I um, my go-to is uh I think it's Lubriderm. I think that's how you pronounce it. Either way, I'll put that in the um in the description down below too. If or I'll post it somewhere up here, you know, with the right spelling, so you guys know what it is I'm referring to. That does it for my tattoo session episode. I hope you all enjoyed what you saw. I wish I would have recorded more, but because of the amount of pain I was in, my hands were sweating and I could not grip my camera like I needed to. So I was just like, you know what? No, I just got to skip all this. We can, we just won't have that material in this particular vlog. But again, I'll post all of KO's uh, information in the description below for everyone in the triangle area and for anywhere outside the triangle. He gets people coming from all over the US, to be honest. He was telling me about all the different people that come from all over to see him because they find him on Instagram. All that being said, as I instructed at the start of this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you made it to the end of this video and do your boy a solid. Go back to my last set of vlogs, especially the travel vlogs. I would heavily recommend you all to view my travel vlogs if you have not done so, if this is your first time coming to my channel. Oh, this is Raggedy, I forgot to welcome you guys. But yeah, first and foremost, let's go back. Welcome, now that you've been welcomed. Go view my other videos. Let's, let's do that. View my other videos, especially the travel vlogs, cause they got hella views, hella likes. Comment everything you want to. Be respectful in the comments. Cause I would hate to give that same energy back. As a matter of fact, no, I'm gonna double that energy if you come crazy, okay? So with that being said, uh, get those lights up. Um, get those views up, all that stuff, man. And until next time, deuces.